and welcome back to Art of La Carte. And in this episode, I am going to attempt to draw a dinosaur. Pencil and some paper, and the best part is having lots of fun with Art a La Carte. Now, when I say attempt, that means I don't really think I've drawn a lot of dinosaurs, which is funny because I've drawn a lot of dragons. Um, but I've gotten a lot of requests for how to draw dinosaur tutorials, so I thought, why well, should practice this up and then I thought hey you know it might be fun for you to see me trying to figure out how to draw a dinosaur <laughs> so I don't know this may turn out this may not turn out who knows but you're along for the ride so I decided to pick one of the more popular dinosaurs um, because I can say its name <laughs> so we're going to draw a t-rex so what I have is a whole bunch of reference photos that I'm looking at um, and I'm just going to kind of base my drawing off of some of those. And I'm going to build this up using some shapes. And I'm going to go super fast. This is going to help me get really loose with my drawing. And it's also going to help me to be able to fix any um, mistakes that I have. If you draw too, too stiff with your drawing and you're just worried about that small portion, you're not looking at the whole picture, um, you're going to find that things are off proportion. They don't have, it's, it looks like it's you know, like a statue. Um, but if you can get just a really loose drawing, you're gonna find that it's, it's gonna turn out a little bit better. All right, so what you're seeing here is a lot of scribbling as I'm going through this. I kind of think of gesturing as kind of like a sculpture takes a, you know, block of wood or stone and begins to chisel out the form. Well, instead of chiseling away things, I'm chiseling in things. So I'm taking my lead and just beginning to chisel in that form. Um, and so sometimes, you know, I have to add a little bit more in the area to, to pull that up. Sometimes I have to erase a little bit. What I'm just trying to do is just kind of fill that all in with pencil energy, I guess. I mean, they have, it's not like I'm just trying to fill the whole thing in. But um, I'm not worried so much about what direction my lines are going. Um, I want them to, you know, obviously flow with the motion, but, you know, I'm not trying for a clean line. And you're just going to you see you'll get a, a picture that has a lot more oomph in it as if I just tried to do that, you know, very s still like circle here and a circle there and a circle there. I mean, I still have them, but they're just all over the place. You know, they're very free formed. But when I get done, I have this kind of form of my dinosaur. So now what I can do is go back into this and begin to then lay in some more determined lines. Now I'm kind of trying to get my focus as to, you know, what line actually goes where and kind of defining out those. Now I'm kind of pulling in the details just a little bit. Now again, this is probably one of the first T-Rexes that I've drawn that haven't been like super cartoony. I've drawn a couple dinosaurs that are cartoony, but trying to make, you know, more of a illustrated, uh, more, and it's not hyper realistic, but you know, more so than a cartoon. Um, so, you know, this is just more of a study for me rather than trying to create a finished piece. And I would encourage you that if you are learning to draw something for the first time, a dinosaur or you know whatever that you're not don't try to take your very first time drawing it and create a finished piece if it turns out a finished piece awesome bonus for you but don't get hung up that this first drawing and attempt at this has to be your you know Mona Lisa it doesn't it's okay this is where you get to learn the same way that a, a dancer learning a, a, na a brand new dance isn't going to dance it for the first time live on stage with an audience. They're going to practice the steps and learn them. You're practicing the steps of learning whatever it is new that you are drawing. Uh, for me, it's a dinosaur, but for you, it might be a horse or a person or a dog or a cat or a tree or a house, whatever it is that you know, you're know. you first learning how to draw. Allow yourself that time to learn the steps, to get to know this the, the creature that you're drawing. Um, there might be things that as you're drawing this you might notice for the first time only. Um, like he only has two little claws on his front little paw. I thought, paw? Does, are those paws? I don't know. We don't know what they're called. Also notice this bone thing down here, very chicken-like if you have chickens. They have this pelvic bone that kind of goes down like that. Didn't notice that on dinosaurs before. And I'm not super happy with his neck. 
Um, not so much that I would erase his whole head and start again, but that's a dance step that I will, or an art step, I guess, not a dance step, but it's a step that I will focus maybe a little bit more on the next time I draw, just to go, hmm, I want to make that neck, I mean, it looks okay, but it's not exactly what I was looking for. Maybe he does have three little claws. I think that one was hidden. See? Learning nothing. Learning, learning, learning. So. So even if your finished piece is this just sketchy conglomeration of lines, so much is learned by doing this. Um, so I just encourage you, this is, you know, it's your practice. So have fun just practicing whatever it takes to to get you where you're confident. I gotta get some teeth in there though. T-Rex without teeth, that's kind of a sad thing there. And there we go. My first official T-Rex. I don't think it turned out too bad for a sketch. So what new thing are you going to practice drawing? Something that you've never drawn that you're like, I was kind of wanting to draw that, but I never have before. Well, let me know in the comments below. What are you working on that's new and hard and challenging? Um, yeah, it's always encouraging to, to share your journey with other people. I love to hear what you guys are working on and all that good stuff. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me while I attempted to draw this dinosaur. I think it turned out pretty cool. If you're brand new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.